there, I'm Amanda. Welcome back to Five Minutes Cantonese. Stay home, I'm Amanda. 欢迎收睇五分钟广东话。Today, let's take a look at two important adjectives: beautiful and ugly. Let's get started. All right, I'm sure even if you're a beginner, you know Cantonese beautiful lang. Lang, but apart from this, actually there are several ways to describe something is beautiful. Let's start with the opposite first. In Cantonese, there are several ways to describe something is ugly. Okay, I teach you. It doesn't mean that you need to use it. Okay. <coughs> Number one, chow. Chow. Normally, we say ugly face together. Chow yang, chow yang. Although chow yang literally it means ugly face, but you can use it to describe anything. For example, just make a simple sentence. Although durian looks ugly, it's delicious. So yin. Remember, although so yin. Durin, lao lin. Remember, in Cantonese, we tend to put the word very, okay, in front of any adjective. Ho, ugly. Chao yang. So yin, lao lin, ho chao yang. But, okay, in Cantonese, although, always go with but. Dan hai, dan hai, eat. Koi, very tasty. Ho, ho, sick. Ho means very. Ho, sick means delicious. So let's do it again. So yin, lao lin, ho chao yang. Dan hai ko, ho ho sick. So yin, lao lin, ho chao yang. Dan hai ko, ho ho sick. Another very common expression. What that? What that apart from ugly, it also means disgusting. So, for example, um, your kid is taking off their shoes in the restaurant. How to say in Cantonese? Don't. Um, ho. Um, ho. Okay, today let's introduce one very common word in Cantonese. So, gum. Gum and then disgusting. What that? What that? Here we can add this ending word. La, mho gum what that la? Mho gum what that la? Another very common expression, which also means disgusting and ugly. Yok sun, yok sun. So to apply for the same situation. You can also say like this: Last but not least, yang so yang so. Remember, it's similar to the first one. Yang means face, so means bad, so bad face, which means ugly. Yang so, however, for Chao Yang is only for ugly in appearance, but for Yang So, Yok Sun, and what that can imply to a situation which is embarrassing. You can say it like this with similar pattern. You, nay, and then don't. Um, ho, um, ho. Let's use the words we know now. Gum, and then, for example, apart from chao yang, we can use all of them. Let's use what that first. What that la? Um, ho, gum what that la? 
唔好咁核突啦。Let's go. We can say it like this: We, 我，地 ，and then to leave. 走，走。Again, you can also add the same ending word. 啦，我哋走啦，我哋走啦。Let's say it again. 唔好咁核突啦，我哋走啦。唔好咁核突啦，我哋走啦。Or you can use the other replacement. 唔好咁样衰啦。我哋走啦，唔好咁样衰啦。我哋走啦。Let's talk about beautiful, pretty, gorgeous in English. There are many ways to express beautiful. However, I will say in Cantonese is pretty straightforward. Lang. So this is not a video about do not use lang. Use other word instead. No, this is not a video like that. Lang is our favorite word for beautiful, lang. But sometimes you can still use other replacement to make your language more colorful. For example, remember how to say when a book is good, when a movie is good. How to say? Right. We put 好 good in front of the verb. So for a book or a movie is to read. Or to see, so we use the same verb. 睇 so for a good book. 好睇 for a good movie. 好睇 which means good. For beautiful, the verb is also judging by our eye. So 好睇 can also means beautiful. 好睇 for example, this dress is very beautiful. You can say, "Ni tiu kuan," very beautiful. 好好睇。Ni tiu kuan, 好好睇。Of course, you can also say, "Ni tiu kuan, 好靓." But pay attention for 好睇 Normally, we won't use on people. We'll use on object. Okay. How about sometimes if you think something is really stylish, really cool, is instead of beautiful, how to say? We can use. This adjective, ying, ying. So he's really cool. Something like that. You can say, 佢好 ying. Or we can put a verb before ying, which is have style. Okay, 佢好有型，佢好有型。Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. If you want to learn Cantonese with me, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you want more worksheet and supplementary audio exercise, please please support my Patreon page. See you next time. Bye bye. Hatsuki.